Welcome to Easy Ideas Channel. Work from home and keep your day job. How to convince your boss to let you work from home. Many people start their work from home journey by going online to search home business or legitimate telecommuting job options. What many don't realize is that the first place to check for a work at home position is their current job. Many employers are willing to let quality employees work part or full time from home. But before you walk into your boss office to ask to work from home, there are a few things you should do first. Step 1, be sure you have what it takes to work at home. Working at home is a lot different than working in an office. Before committing to a telecommuting situation, make sure you're going to be able to follow through. Here are a few questions to ask yourself. Is your job one that can be effectively be done from home? If your job requires working with the public frequently, it might not be ideal for working at home. With that said, some jobs can be restructured to allow for part-time work done from home at times you're not meeting with clients or having office meetings. Are you sure that you have the self-discipline necessary to work from home? There are many challenges that come with working from home, including distractions from family and household chores, lack of external cues to work, that is no boss looking over your shoulder, and more. Make sure you can overcome these issues before committing to working from home. Step 2, Is your job suited to working from home? Not all jobs can be done from home. And some can only be done from home on occasion. Here are few things to do and research to find out if your job can be done at home, make a list of all your job duties. Divide the list into tasks that can be done from home and must be done in the office. Find out if your company already has a work from home or flexible work program in place. Your employment manual or human resources is a good place to check. Investigate who is taking advantage of work from home or flexible work options in your company. Even if your employer doesn't have an official telecommuting program, there might be people in your office who engage in flexible work options, such as working a few days from home or flex time scheduling. Step 3, Put Your Work From Home Proposal In Writing If after your research, you still want to ask your boss if you can work from home, the next step is to prepare a work at home proposal. A written document shows you've put thought into your plan, as well as offers something tangible for your employer to review. Your proposal should include information on your value to the company. For example, if you've increased sales, you want to point that out. Remind your boss you're an asset to his business. Specifics on how you're working at home will benefit the boss. Start with any cost savings or increased earnings your telecommuting situation could bring. If you're working at home will ease strain on company parking or office resources, point that out as well. Other benefits are increased productivity and less leave. Outline your work at home idea. Your proposal should list the days and times you plan to work from home, and what duties you'll be doing while away from the office. You should also include how your office can stay in touch with you and how your boss will know about the work you're doing. Step 4, Present Your Proposal In Person. Make an appointment with your boss to share your proposal. Be professional and use your proposal to highlight the salient points when talking with your boss. Be prepared to answer questions. In most cases, he won't make a decision right then, so leave the proposal with him for further review. Before leaving, get a date to meet again to discuss his answer or any further issues. We really hope you find this article helpful and don't forget to share it with your friends and family. Thank you for watching.